Hey Nitwittians, we got another awesome T Legion T5 video in store for you this evening. We are going to be upgrading the power supply so we can be putting some bigger and badder graphics cards in this black mamma jamma of a PC. This thing is freaking awesome. And yeah, we are going to get into it. So that's what's in store for this video. I'm going to show you how to do the PSU upgrade, guys. Let me get this PC powered down, get some cables unplugged from it, and then we will uh, start the video off there. After you got everything powered down, you're going to, and making sure that all everything's unplugged, you're going to come and grab these two thumb screws and undo everything, and then pull both sides off. Then we are going to grab ourselves some number two Phillips, and we are going to take one, two, three, four screws out. All right, guys, after that is done, we're going to come here, and we need to unplug some stuff. So we got, uh, we got to unplug our eight pin up top here. It's going to be really hard to see. Our eight pin up here. There we go, that's unplugged. We need to unplug our graphic card. And then unplug our 24 pin. And there's actually two up here. And then you can go ahead and push those cables through to the other side. And that's all your cables that you're gonna need to unplug. So let's come here and flip around. So let's grab our 24 pin, that's out our dual eight pins for our graphics cards, or our six plus two and our eight. Then we need to come up here and we need to cut these cables right here so we can remove the power supply. So get yourself a side cutters and follow these zip ties right here. And then of course we're gonna have to pull our, our dual four pin, which turns into an EPS eight pin. And then last but not least, we need to unplug our drive right here. There we go, our drive is now undone. And that is our power supply, should be nice and free now. So if we push forward. And it looks like we have a retaining bracket right here for our power supply. And once that bracket moves forward, we can now, looks like we might have to remove some uh, of our front pot panel cables. So our power supply is out of the way. Because the cables are taking enough room to where it can't come out. So we have some USB cables. I'm just gonna do this so you guys can see, but you could do this without taking the graphics card out, but it, it, either or it's gonna make it easier if you just take it out. Unlock our graphics card. All right, so these are the cables that are getting in the way. These guys right here. Looks like uh, custom, custom made cables. So they all are gonna go back in the same exact spot. And then we can come around over here. And we're going to want to feed these guys through. And there we go. Our custom cables for the front are now removed. Our power supply is now Oh, All right, guys, grab your new power supply, which I have a Be Quiet non-modular 700 watt power supply. Now let's see our bracket right here. That's our bracket that's gotta go in there. Someone that did this must have had really small hands. I mean, really, is it needed? Maybe for shipping, but no. You don't need to put that back in there. Ready to go in. We're gonna slide our power supply in. Then we can put some of our screws in here to retain our PSU. All right, guys, go ahead and refeed your front panel cables back through into here. And there we go. We can take our 24 pin. Let's try to untangle this from here. Stick that through up here. 
let's grab our this is gonna be our last that we use our, our set of power there's a couple of them in here and we got this PCI on it. it says PCI this is gonna to go to our video card just six through the same hole And then of course our EPS power, which this splits in half. It's gonna be easier to get it through up top if you split it in half. So this has little clips in here that'll actually lock it together. So if you got a tool, like a needle nose or something that you can pull these clips. Not all polar supplies are like this, but this has clippies that'll allow you to push it apart. And there we go just clip together like that and it should make it easier to put it through this hole you have to kind of pull one through push the other one through and then you're through your hole and then there we go all right so we're going to come around and we can take our extra SATA power cable and just kind of tuck this in right here so it's up and out of our way because we don't need it and we're going to take our other one and we need to go to our drive. Go ahead and plug our drive back in. Make sure the L is towards the bottom. And then you can feed the extra cable toward on the top of the hard drive. There we go. We're gonna flip the computer around and we're gonna start with the hardest. So we need to get these guys all plugged back in. So let's make sure our slack is pulled. All right, and if we look at this, there's one that's missing. That's gonna be your HD audio cable. I can go right there. And then we have three plus two pin. It's gonna go Right here, we got an even bigger guy, and the pin for that's up top. And there we go, all our bottom panel connectors are now connected. So the first thing we are gonna do is come up here and put our 24 pin in. It should be this guy right here. And there should be a snap on one side. The snap's gonna go this way. So we actually kinda have to rotate the cable. There we go, we heard a nice click. EPS, which is going to be the hardest one to get, way up top here. It's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to put them back together, clip them back together. And then the clip for that goes downwards. There we go, that guy's in there. And then we got our GPU cables. Now, if these seem like they're not too long, uh, or this is going to make it too far to the graphics card, which I think it will with this power supply. Some cables might be longer in other power supplies and not. So I'm just gonna pull these back through and we're gonna feed them through the hole right down here. That'll give us some more length for our uh, GPU uh, power cables. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some new zip ties on here to hold these cables in the back, but I'm not gonna do this in the purpose of the video for time. There we go, there are GPU power cables. All right guys, that's the power supply installed in a nutshell. Um, I would say don't put this back in there. It's just going to be way too hard to try to get this in there unless you've got tiny hands and you can clip it in there and you want to use a tool. Most power supplies, about 99% of power supplies in uh, circulation that go in cases only have these screws retaining them. I mean, unless it was like angled or something weird or it was up off the, the actual uh, uh, case, I would say, okay, maybe it needs some more support towards the end, but no, that's not the case. All right, guys, so go ahead and put your uh, graphics card back in and your side panels back on. So, of course, there's no airflow going through the side, so really the cable management isn't really needed, but I'm, I'm going to make sure that these are tucked in there, make sure there's space for them so when that, that front panel pushes. So that's what I'm saying with the zip ties, at least holding these right here is gonna make taking your side panel off and on a lot easier. So let's grab our side panel. And there we go. And just uh, kind of screw, screw them on home. All right. Go ahead and replace your graphics card. Make sure it snaps. Get our two screws. And then we can grab one of our six plus two pin. And 
and plug our graphics card in. I have these extra cables out here because I plan on doing graphics cards that um, require more power, and I might as well have both of them out here. But for now, you can just tuck it in. If you don't use this other cable, you could just pull it back and leave it on the panel on the other side. But for now, um, if you wanted to use just the 6 Plus 2, but as you can see how short this cable is, you're going to want both cables so you can plug both in. All right, guys, so pretty much get your side panel back on, get it booted up and rock and rolling. I guess I can show you powering it up really quick to see that it uh, was a successful install. And there we go. So if you wanted to, that, that 700 watt, I would say you could put a 3090 in here if it'll fit. Of course, your room in here to the fan, we're looking at about 12 inches and 1 fourth. So, I mean, there are 3090s that are under that size. I got a, a larger graphics card that I'm going to be putting in here for another upgrade video that you guys will see. All right, guys, that's the power supply upgrade in a nutshell. If you have any questions, concerns, comments about this upgrade or other upgrades that you see me do with this PC or any other PC, go ahead and throw them down in the comment section down below. I try to get back to everybody. Any, anyways, other than that, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Tech Nitwit, and I'm out, y'all. Hey, guys, it's Tech Nitwit here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.